So here is a JSON file on a server. I've used a website called Feltext to create this JSON file and to use it as a server. It's great while you're practicing. I'll show you how you can create a JSON file on it. So the JSON file is consists of two objects. For each one, there is a username, password, email, and company branches. Support this JSON file for a client, and it contains his username, password, email, and the company branches that he wants to work in, the country for each branch, and the telephone number. So, for example, let me see how we can get the username and the password for the first object. So, back to our document. So, within this division, let me display the username and the password. So, to get the data from a server, we have to make a request. So, let me define a variable and call it client and equal to new XML HTTP request. XML HTTP request is an object used to exchange data with a server behind the scenes. This means that it's possible to update parts of a page without reloading the whole page. Let me continue. Then let me open this request. So client dot open open specifies the request method and the URL for the server. So we have two methods get and post. Get is simpler and faster. Post used when sending large amount of data to a server. It's more secure than get. So I will use get. Then the URL for the server. Let we copy the URL from here. So now we have done the request and open the request. Just remain to make a function once we reload the page. So clients that on load when we reload the page function will be happen during this function we want to get the data and convert it to an object the data on the server is a text so we want to convert it to an object I hope you still remember the function that can help us to do this so let me make a variable for example y and equal to json dot parse and it will take client dot response text what is response text returns the response data to a string and of course we want it to be as a string just now remain to display the data within our division so document that get element by id and the id is identity card that inner html will be equal to we want to display the username and the password so your username is plus y zero dot username we want to display the username for the first object so what represent now the object is y we assign it to the json file or the text that we will receive from json file so y0 username plus it will make a break tag and plus and your password is plus y0 dot password but let me check if the variables username and password read correctly username start with uppercase u and also password
So now just to remain to send this request to the server, we have done the request. Then we open the request or we specify the link of the server that we want to send the request to. Then we have done a function once we reload the page, just to remain to send the request. So client dot send so now everything is ready let me check nice your username is whatever and your password is a value I have a surprise for you now you learned how to use Ajax Ajax short for a synchronous JavaScript and XML XML is a file like JSON which can be sent or received from a server. It's like HTML tags, but the most popular way to exchange data with a server is JSON, and Ajax is the way to get or send the data to the server. So Ajax read data from a server after the page has reloaded. Update our page without reloading the page. Send data to a server in the background without even the user not that you see now when I reloaded the page the variables change it each time you reload the values will be changed and also it's not the username here for the first object and the password so this website just give you uh, variable names that will change every time we reload the page. If I reload it here, it will be changed. So I just take the JSON file, copy, and paste it on my server. But you can use it just for practicing if you don't have a domain name or server. But if you have a domain name and server, you have to make sure that the JSON file and the web page are in the same domain name or the same server, like mine. My JSON file and my web page are in the same domain name. So here is the JSON file. I've created on fill text and just copy it and paste it here and edit it manually. And here is the web page. So they have to be in the same server because modern browsers don't allow access across domain names. So both the web page and the JSON file should be on the same server. Bear this in mind. So this is how you can get a data from a server using Ajax. But before we end, I want to show you something. Instead of unload, we can use already state change. On ready state change I'll let you see if this the same or not nice but what is already state change it defines a function to be called when the ready state property changes but what is ready state property ready state property is establishing the connection to the server like this XML HTTP request it's establishing a connection to a server. Request received. So it so it wait till the request received from the server and processing to the request. See what is the data that we want or this function. We, we want here to access to the username and the password and wait till the request finished and the response is ready. So all this called ready state. Let me now show you how you can create a JSON file on full text. So this is the website. You can find here a video which will help you a lot. So we will use those keys to create the JSON file. So rows tell you the number of objects in the JSON file and then the value for each 
key. So for example, if we insert username, you can insert or specify this username as any name. But if you just type username, the website will give you a random name. And also for the first name, here an example, first name, and just between curly brackets, first name, it will give you a random name. And also for last name, and also we have email, so here is an example, and we have username, and password, we also have phone, so in this way it just give you a random numbers, but you can make a format for this phone. So it give you this shape and also you can give it an ID or make a date and specify the date here like this and here is you can give it an ID like this just type number and it will give you random number you can give number between 0 and 100 or give it a number length so it will give you a constant number so here the length is 5 numbers you can specify this length, so you can specify it as three numbers like this, or random number range, and so many. Also, you can make an array uh, here, yeah, here, x equal to string array, so it will give you this array. You can specify the length of the array like this. And finally, you can make an object which consists of many rows, like what we have done for company branches. We created just one object for it, which contain country and telephone. So let me create something and see this practically. So consider we have a JSON file for clients that contain their username, email, password, and the company branches, which contain another two objects, country and phone number. So here for the URL, just type forward slash, then question mark, and start typing the rows, which is the number of objects for the JSON file. So the rows make it equal to two rows, for example. Let me see this. So we have two objects. So we want to specify a username and it will be equal to curl brackets and username. We can specify it manually, but this will give you a random username. So instead of username here, you can type the value that you want, but it will be for the whole objects. So just make it username to give you a random names and password equal to password email equal to email company which contain two objects country and telephone so how we can do this so it will be equal to but we will add here add sign to define it as another object so firstly let me define the rows so it contains just two rows or two objects but it should be within uh, curly brackets which we see now so we have username, password, email and company branches which contain two objects so let me specify those objects so the rows is two and asterisk then the first object which is country and equal to country so it will give you a random country and then asterisk phone equal to phone and make it format so let me see so here the whole objects username password email company branches which contain country and the phone number so just copy the URL and paste it within the open function to access to this JSON file
and you can access to any data you want or you can display all the data of course using for loop so we have seen how we can get data from a server using ajax opening the request then the method and the url for the server and then the function you can use a load or already state change and finally don't forget to send the request so that's what we got we access to the username and the password you can make a loop within the json file and display all the data once we click a button or once we reload the page it's up to you you can try this once we click a button next i'll show you how we can use this json file to make an advanced example